اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو آل ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ آر ٹو ڈیز کلاس سو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو گیو مائک ٹو این فورٹی سیون السلام علیکم این فورٹی سیون وعلیکم السلام ہاؤ آر یو ٹوڈے آئی ایم فائن تھینک یو ہاؤ آر یو Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Zakillah. So can you uh, please uh, read behind me this prayer and we are going to start our class with this prayer. Uh, can you see the screen properly? Yes, I can. Okay. Allahumma. Allahumma. Inni. ابن <laughs> ماج Ja, and hadith number is 925 it's written in the bracket so and uh for seven can you please remain on the mic and uh, we are going we'll start our today's lesson and read a couple of examples with me will it be okay for you yeah. Yeah. okay so now uh, today uh, we are going to start our lesson number 18 which is combining okay 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 combining and the arabic name is qul wasl wasl means to connect or, or to link and there are many quranic words which either start or end with blank letters blank letters mean letters without any stroke these blank letters are dropped while connecting two words but maintained when read alone so we are going to uh, combine two mutahharrik letters two letters which have any stroke on them and we we are going to drop uh, any blank letter if comes between them but these blank letters are uh, there and we read them when we are reading a word solely or alone but when we are joining uh, then we would drop these blank letters there are two categories of such words firstly blank letters between mutahharrik and sakin letters there are few blank letters uh, which comes between mutahharrik letter mean uh, any letter which carry uh, a vowel which carries stroke of fatha kasra dama vertical fatha kasra dama or tanween and such these letters and sakin letter mean the letter which carries sukoon secondly blank letters between mutahharrik and mushaddad letters okay. do you know n47 what are mushaddad letters yes which letters are called mushaddad letters alif no mushaddad one letter They, then we will drop a uh, blank letters between them and these blank letters in this exercise are coming between mutahharrik and sakin letters okay. so n47 in first box can you tell me which a letter carries sukoon sign um uh, lam lam excel first lam or second lam uh is it second na- lam Hmm, jazakallah mashallah well then okay now we are going to uh, do our first we read uh, words solely and then we read them while joining them okay so can you read the f- first part of this word for me please just this one highlighted one yes kala so 
just this one. Uh, read it once more, please. Kala. So we along them because uh, Alif with Fatha is followed by Alif Madda and Lam with Fatha is followed by Alif Madda. So we give two seconds to each. Kala. Kala. But as soon as we are going to join it with second lamb, this lamb, we drop these two blank alifs. So we read it like, Qal alhamdu. Okay, Qal alhamdu. So you realize when uh, we read blank letters, uh, this alif, blank alif, when uh, fall, uh, preceded uh, by fatha sign, it becomes alif madda. So when we read solely this highlighted when uh, uh, Letter, how we read this one? Just the highlighted one. Um, Kala. Kala. But as soon as we uh, join to uh, uh, Mutaharik and Sakin letter, so uh, this lam with Fatha is called Mutaharik lam, and this lam with Sakun is called Sakin lam. Mm -hmm. So as soon as we join uh, these two together, we drop these two blank ellipses. So, how we uh, read this one then? Well done, Shabash. So, these blank letters are not in vain, but when we read a letter on its own, then we read these blank letters. But when we are joining these, the, uh, them or combining these two words, then we drop which letters we drop? Letters with sukun or blank letters? Blank letters. Blank letter. Excellent. Well done. Shabash. So can you read uh, this uh, once more for me, please? Yes. Well done. And this high is a bit thick uh, coming from the throat. Hamdu. Okay. Hamdu. Shabash. Uh, can you try the next one, please? Yes. What, 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 who, who, Baba. Shabash. And if we read just this first one, how we read it? Um, what, who, what, who, because a vow is not carrying any sakun sign, wow, and yeah, um. If carry sakun sign, then they become wa madda and ya madda. So it, it remains wat khulu, but as soon as we join it, so it will become. Can you read it once more for me, please? Wat khulu baba. Baba. Yeah, can try it, tell me how, why you give two seconds to this ba? Because it, it, it has alif, alif madda. Well done, excellent. It shows that you are practicing and listening to the recordings of the lesson. Shabash. So, can you try the third one, please? Yes. We fill our fill our z. Shabash. It's fill our z. And so this, this uh, in you, now you know this lam in second letter. It's also so called sakun sign. The stroke it carries, and we write sakun sign or stroke like this, which is in third letter on lam alban. So now where, wherever you see, see these two signs, these are both for sakun, and these letters are called sakun letters. Do you want to try the next line? Yes. Okay. Read it for me, please. Okay. Yab luhu yuhun hulum ma. Once more, please. Yab luhu hum hulum. No, you have uh, read uh, first time correctly, but just I wanted uh, to read it in one go. Okay. So, Yes, Shab. Yab Luhul Hulum. And with the last one, which stroke it has, how we read it? Uh, it carries a fatha. So, so yeah. Like it's Ma. Ma, yeah. 
So it's Yablughul Huluma. Yablughul Huluma. Shabash. So now we practice this one. So your ID is N47, yeah? Yeah. So okay. Now you understand which letters we draw when we join uh, Mutaharik and Sakin letters? Yeah. Which letters we uh, draw? So if there are any, uh, you drop the, sometimes you drop the wow and sometimes you drop the alif. And so, yeah, basically, it's uh, when we join uh, Mutaharik and Sakin letters, we drop blank letters. So, basically, we are learning in today's lesson that uh, when we combine uh, two uh, letters, whether they are Mutaharik or Sakin or they are Mutaharik and Mushaddad, we drop any blank letter between them. So, uh, well done, you have read very carefully. So, keep on practicing and inshallah. Uh, I'll give you my once more, hopefully in this class again. Okay, Jazakallah in 47. Jazakallah, I hope you have a lovely day. Oh, Jazakallah, have a nice evening as well. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. So now, this time I'm going to uh, give my one of the 12 members. Let's see, have they understand the rule uh, so I'm going to give my to a02 Assalamualaikum Salam a02 how are you today Good. Alhamdulillah so have you joined the class in the beginning or you just entered the class? Uh, and the class five minutes. Okay. So you understand how we combine two Mutaharik and Sakin letters? I wasn't here. Oh, you weren't here. Sorry. Okay. In this lesson, we are uh, going to learn uh, how we join uh, two letters, Mutaharik and Sakin letters and Mutaharik and Mushaddad letters. And in 18.1, mostly we are going to practice uh, joining letters, which are Mutaharik and Sakin. And any letter which comes between these Mutaharik and Sakin letters, any blank letter, we drop it. So do you know what, which letter is called Mutaharik letter? A02? Um, so, no. Mutaharik letter means which any letter vowel which carries a stroke of Fatha, Kasra, Dhamma, vertical Fatha, Kasra, Dhamma the mean sign or any uh, stroke uh, when we pronouncing them we produce or changes the sounds okay so in this for example this highlighted one first box of is mutaharik kaf because it carries a sign of which sign it's carrying of fatha 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 oh, the next lam mutaharik lam which sign it carries Fatha. So this lam uh, with Fatha is called Mutaharik lam. And the next lam in red one, which sign it is carrying? Sakun. Sakun. Sakin lam. So this Mutaharik lam, we are going to join it with Sakin lam. And in between, there are two blank alif. We are going to drop them when we join these two lam together. Mutaharik lam and Sakin lam. But when we are reading these letters on their own, for example, if when we are reading this highlighted one solely, then we read this blank lam. So uh, what this la uh, lam and alif, what this alif will call when we read only this letter? Uh, alif madda. Alif madda. Well done. So how we read this highlighted one, highlighted part only? Ha. Shabash. But when we are joining these uh, two lamps together, Mutaharik and Sakin one, we drop these two blank alif. So how, how we read it? Qal alhamdu. Qal alhamdu. Qal alhamdu. Qal alhamdu. So we give two seconds to Qal because uh, it, it is not followed by any Sakin letter. We are not joining them. But this lamb, we are going to join it with Sakin lamb, so it becomes 
قال الحمد قال الحمد شاباش so can you try the next letter box for me please so it's when we did this highlighted one because wa wa don't have any uh, second sign so it we, it is it remains same but khulu but we and uh, how we did it uh, when we joined this mutahharik uh, lam with sakin lam yeah so try to read it the whole wadkhulul ba 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 yeah it's wadkhulul ba ba wadkhulul ba ba third one please te lu te lu no no the uh, third box So okay. this lam, uh, as far as I make it clear, the so sukun sign is like uh, this one, as well as this whole uh, circle, small circle one as well. So it's the sakin lam. So with uh, we are uh, joining this fa with kasra with this lam sakin. So this will become fill. Fill. Because we are joining these mutaharik and sakin letters, so we are dropping this black blank alif. Okay, so how we read it? Fill. And the next part. Fill. D. Fill R D. Fill R D. Chabash. Can you try this uh, second row for me, please? Yeah, blue. Who? 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 Ma, and and read it once more, and uh, be careful about your timing, because these are all plain strokes, and you are going to give them only one second time to so try to read it once more. Yeah, we are only dropping blank letters and reading all the letters with strokes. Yeah, blue who la gul gul who la blue who. So just uh, you need to practice your timing uh, at home. Practice it again and again. So it's ya bulughul huluma. Ya bulughul. Ya bulughul. Ya bulughul. Huluma. Huluma. So this ha is thick letter. It's coming a uh, sound coming from the throat. Huluma. 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 Luma. Huluma luma. So just um one second. Ya belugul huluma. Ya belahul huluma. Now we are we break this and then I read this. Ya b. Ya b. Lugu. Lugu. Ya belugul. Ya belugul. Huluma. Huluma. Shabash. Uh, try to read it in one go, please. Ya blue, ya blue hul, hul, luma. Shabash. This is just this hul, hul ni hai. Okay, it's ya blue hul, ya blue hul, huluma, huluma. Shabash. So listen the recording again, and then practice your timing. Just one second to simple stroke and vertical, and the other one two second, and then mud down. Huh? So this one, can you tell me uh, which uh, stroke uh, second letter, second letter carrying? Which letter is second one? In Shad Shadda. Shadda and Fatha. Fatha. So uh, how we read the Shadda letters? La. Allah, we hardened the sound, so uh, we learn about shadda in uh, lesson number thirteen. So, mushaddad means hardened. So, mushaddad letters are letters which carry the sign of shadda. 
a letter with a shraddha on top is called mushaddad instead of writing an identical letter twice in succession the arabic writing system write it once and places a small w shaped sign called shraddha on top of it so this shraddha sign indicates that uh, this letter is equal to two letters so two lam so we read it like can you read this highlighted one allah allah and the third uh, join with third one allazi allazi so this with thin sound of this z and now now join this uh, with sakin seen allazi no we don't along them we just drop all blank letters coming between mutaharrik and sakin so in this letter um, allazis allazis next next one tauqada tauqada allazis tauqada allazis tauqada tau so it bit a uh, bit lean uh, voice it will come and inshallah uh, you will uh, read about this uh, in more detail in coming lesson so it's allazis tauqada allazis tauqada shabash so then next uh, box fa is this ta azanuka fa azis ta zanuka 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 so can you tell me uh, why we uh, give soft jerk here because it's got a sakin on it yeah so it's hamza sakin uh, uh, lesson you read about yesterday so we read it solely first read this part for me only faza no read it carefully faiza so how we read it uh, give it 1 second or 2 second 1 second uh, no it's 2 seconds because it's fatha and followed by alif madda faiza faiza but as soon as we are uh, join this with sakin seen we drop these two blank alifs so how we read it when while joining faiza shabash and the next part tul to tuza tuza no how we read this highlighted one only ta ta with soft jerk ta and the next part zanu zanu we are not joining uh, these zan so this we, we pronounce this da with thin sound top of your uh, tongue will touches your upper teeth and come bit forward and says thin sound da da nuka nuka so this calf has a thin sound or thick sound thick a thin one thick one is with the uh, first in first box with, with two dots is thick one and this uh, calf here is a smiling letter thin letter you uh, when you pronounce it is a kind of with smiling face so it's fa is this fa is this ta ta zanuka zanuka okay so your id is a02 yeah, yeah. so uh, please uh, keep on practicing and uh, practice to uh, make a exact timing give where you want uh, give one second just give one second and where letters uh, need or requires two second then give them two seconds so keep on practicing and listening to the recordings of the lessons okay jazakallah a02 jazakallah so a uh, couple of students i share saw they put their videos on so quickly go through the etiquettes of the class first um and the head uh, were not covered so as you are learning the word of allah and um, you learning how to read a, a, a word of allah so it's a quran class so consider yourself as you are sitting in a mosque or 
in proper class whether we see each other or not and uh, you must perform it's not must but it's uh, desirable to perform wazoo wear neat clothes and sit properly as you are sitting in a class and if you are one of the members of a twal cover your head with a uh, topi or uh, and cap and if you are one of the members of nasrat cover your head with scarf or dupatta and please consider yourself that you are sitting in a class it's okay we are our videos are not on but sit properly not in casual manner or um, not covering your head it's not something which is acceptable for the quran class okay and try not to put your videos on and not make faces okay hope you will all consider it and now those who haven't covered their head please try to cover your head as quickly as possible so now this time i'm going to give mike one of the nasrat members so now this time it's going to n33 assalamu alaikum n33 assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam how are you better today good thank you alhamdulillah so do you know what about where, which thing we are learning today um we are learning about combining letters so in this uh, exercise 18.1 we are learning how to combine a mutaharrik letter with sakin letter and where while we are uh, joining mutaharrik letter with sakin letter or mut in next exercise we will learn how to join mutaharrik letter with mushaddad letter so while joining these two letters we dropped all blank letters coming between them so uh, in we are going to uh, practice third line do you see the screen properly yes okay So can you uh, try to read this box for me please Allah's Allah's their Shabash their taza Shabash So uh, we when we join this <coughs> with a uh, sakin ra, ra then we drop blank ya and blank alif well done so it's so, so can you tell me why we give two second to dot sound because it has a vertical fatha vertical fatha well done so um all the class participants when we are practicing these well uh, words uh, please follow us uh, follow me wherever you are sitting i know uh, my mic is given to only one student but uh, if you follow uh, follow me uh, how to read this and then it will be a good practice for you all so can you try the second box for me please in third line bihadil hum which which letter is after lam bihadil u um um ji ji yeah it's the ain sound so um ji um ji so just one second so bihadil um ji bihadil um ji bihadil um ji um ji um ji just one second okay well done next box please ra'abul ayati shabash well done ra'abul ayati ra'abul ayati so it's ra sound ra ra so ra'abul ayati so just one second to ra a uh, one second wul ayati read it once more please wa wul ayati shabash 
Read the first box of last line, please. Yeah. So uh, please be mindful about the timing you are giving. So these are plain strokes, da one, uh, plain uh, fatha. So just one second. Read it once more for me, please. Yab da ul khalqa. Yeah. Yab da ul khalqa. Yab da ul khalqa. Shabash. Next box, please. Li ulil al babi. So, li ulil al babi. Li ulil li ulil al babi. So. We are, we are not elonging this alif, second one, because vow don't have sakun sign, and we are not elonging this li sound because ya don't have sakun sign. So it's li ulil al babi. Li ulil bil babi. Li ulil. Li ulil al babi. Shabash. Last, word, last box for me, please. Kalut ulana. Yeah. So it's ain sound. Ooh, ooh. Read it once more, please. Kalut ulana. Yeah. Kalut ulana. Kalut ulana. Shabash. So your uh, can you tell me your ID once more, please? One thirty three. Shabash and 33. Keep on practicing and try to um, practice the timing you give to the specific strokes. Mashallah, you read it very well. So it shows you are practicing. But inshallah, with more practice, you will rectify your tiny, tiny mistakes. But Jazakallah, Jazakallah and 33. Mashallah, you read it very well. So now this time I'm going to Mike, one of the Tfal members. Let's see who is on that. Here. Yeah. So. Oh. I shall a lot of Nasrat here. So. A zero eight. Aslam alaikum A zero eight. Welcome, Aslam. How are you better today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Jazakallah for asking. So, do you understand how we join two uh, letters together? Mutaharik yeah. and Sakin letter. Oh, okay, Jazak. So we'll just practice a couple of uh, boxes in last line. Of exercise of 18.1, then we go to 18.2. Can you read this uh, first letter of the uh, last line of 18.1 for okay. me, please? Yep. Do. Be careful yep. about the strokes. Yep. Yep. So, uh, this red vowel. Um, when uh, it has Hamza, so when we are, while we are sitting on a chair, so uh, chair is not speaking, the person sitting on the chair is speaking. So in this red vow case, Hamza is sitting on vow. So uh, vow, uh, we are not producing vow sound, but we are reading Hamza. So try to read it once more for me, please. Yabda un khalka. Shabash. Now, now you uh, read it quite well, but just your timing of da is a bit longer. So try to read it once more and give accurate timing. So these are plain strokes, just one second to each letter. So read it once more for me, please. Shabash. Second box, please. Okay. Um, li Shabash. La. So it's li, u, li, li ulil, li uli. So li uli la. 
So uh, be, uh, read before uh, me. Liulil. Liuli. Liulil. Liuli. Liu. Liu. Lil. Li. Lil. Li. Al Baba. Sorry, Al Babi. Al Babi. Liulil. Liulil. Al Babi. Al Babi. So once more, please. Liulil. Liuli. Al Babi. Al Babi. Okay. Last. Last word, please. Okay. Kalu Lud. Lana. Shabash. You read it quite well. Just uh, uh, produce ein sound pro properly. It's ein one. O, not u. So read it once more, please. Okay. Kalu Lud. Ru. Lama. So now, uh, just, just one second to so uh, read it before after me. Ulana. 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 Shabash. So, can you read uh, the second uh, word for me again? Second okay. letter. This highlighted Li one. Liuli, Liuli la, la, la babi. No, Liulil, Liulil, al babi, al babi. Liulil, Liulil, al babi, al babi. Shabash. So when we are joining this lam with kasra, with this lam with sakun sign or sakin lam, so it become lil, li ulil, li ulil. Then this uh, alif with fatha and joining with lam with sakun, so al babi, ba al babi, shabash. Can you tell me your ID once more, please? A zero eight. A08. Jazakallah A08. Keep on practicing and be mindful about the timing you are giving to the strokes. And uh, when we are joining the Mutaharik and Sakin letters or Mutaharik and Mushaddad letter, we drop all the blank letters between them. So Jazakallah A08. Jazakallah. Just be uh, regarding the etiquette and the rules and regulations. Um, we are keep on reminding, inshallah, we will keep on reminding till the end of these classes. Uh, you must enter in the class with proper ID. And uh, there are a um, member waiting in the waiting room. And I am not admitting them because they are not, not with proper ID. Uh, so you have to uh, come in the class with the ID issued to you. So it's G1 class. So your ID will be like um, G1 and then the N for Nasrat and A for Atfal. So the members i'm going to admit and uh, i have admitted them in the class and then now again putting them in waiting room and please try to uh, come with your proper id then you will be entered in the class so now in today's lesson we learn how we uh, join um, in 18.1 exercise we practice how we join mutaharik and sakin letters so while joining these letters mutaharik and sakin letter or mutaharik and Mish Mushaddad letters, we drop all the blank letters coming in between them. So now we move on to the next exercise, which is 18.2. As soon as I have access to the participants list, I'll give mic to one of the member uh, the students and inshallah. So till then, we'll uh, read uh, how we join with the Harik and Mushaddad letters. So Mushaddad letters, Shadda is there. For harden them and is a sign that these letters are equal to two letters. So in the uh, first box of 18.2 in this, we are going to uh, practice how we join Mutaharik and Mushaddad letter. About Mushaddad letter or Tashdeed, you learn in lesson number 13 and it's here. Hope all of you um, have downloaded all the lessons available on a website. You log in through your 
uh, given ID and password of the class in you put for the class and then you download it and it's good if you print them out and make a note on each lesson what you learn and how you understand it so mushaddad means hardened a letter with a shadda on top is called mushaddad instead of writing an identical letter twice in succession the arabic writing system writes it once and places a small w shaped sign called shadda on top of it to indicate the doubling of consonants a mushaddad letter must be stressed appropriately in the pronunciation so now these are the same mushaddad letters which we are going to join with mutaharrik letters and while joining these mutaharrik and mushaddad letters we are going to drop all the blank letters between them so for example in first one when we uh, read uh, this one it's analahu so all the students uh, you are listening to me so for follow me um and then practice these words analahu so we give a uh, more uh, hardened the this lam and then give 2 uh, second because uh, it has vertical fatha so let me check if i have access to uh, the students no yet some technical issue inshallah it will be sorted soon so we uh, first one is this highlighted one is anallahu so read it five times anallahu anallahu so now the second box amilu salihati read after me amilu salihati amilu salihati so we have to be mindful uh, while we the ain we produce proper ain sound not a lift sound and give proper time amilu salihati i'm sure you are uh, following me so then the, next, the third one is qaumit takhazu qaumit takhazu qaumit takhazu so you see in uh, 18.1 also uh, in first line proper um, examples are given for how you read it when you are reading these uh, words solely and how you read it when you join them so in the same has done for your convenience in here in 18.2 how we join with the harik and mushaddad letters and how we read them when we join them so the third box is qaumit takhazu so this now this second line this one highlighted one we are going to read laqul ladina laqul ladina laqul ladina so we are giving a uh, uh, harden them and pro reading it properly with the sound because it carries shadda it is equal to two la the next one is wa aqimu salata wa aqimu salata wa aqimu salata so hope you understand uh, it how we uh, read this uh, how when we join mutaharrik and mushaddad letter so keep in mind when uh, we be mindful about the blank letters when we join mutaharrik and sakin letters or, or mutaharrik and mushaddad letters we drop all the blank letters between them so the in this box wa atuz zakata 
وآت الزكاة وآت الزكاة So the next highlighted box, this one. Hope you see the cursor. Nasu zikro. Nasu zikro. Nasu zikro. Hope you are following me and uh, practicing these words. So here we are joined scene with this Mushadad letter. And we are dropping these three blank letters, uh, four blank letters between them. Wow, Alif, Alif, and Lam. Nasu Zikro. So the next one is. Kazabur Rusula. We are dropping these three, uh, four blank letters again. Wow, Alif, Alif, and Lam. So we are joining. This mutaharrik ba with rom shaddat. Kazabur rusula. Kazabur rusula. And then this one. So here we are joining mutaharrik ra with mushaddat lam. So it's Zakarullah. 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 So here, where the cursor is, when you see in my, the palm in this box. So when we join this mutaharrik ra with mushaddad lam, it will become zakarullaha, zakarullaha. So next last line of eighteen point two. Here. So when we uh, read this one, so here you you found uh, these curvy lines, and uh, and uh, yesterday lesson you uh, know that these cur curvy wavy lines uh, need extra elongation. Inshallah, in coming uh, upcoming lessons you will learn about them more in more detail. So just uh, we uh, give more time to the letters which have these wavy or curved lines. So here when we read this part, first part. It is a so we are joining Hamza with Mushaddad Seen, Mutaharik Hamza with Mushaddad Seen. So it is a so all please um, read after me and practice at them. Again and again, I listen to the recording, and due to some technical issues, I can't give mic to the students at the moment. But as soon as I have access to the participants list, um, inshallah, I will give mic to you and listen how you are getting it. Hope you are understanding it. And so today we are learning how to combine letters, and inshallah, uh, we will do the next exercise um, and keep on practicing and revise this again and again. So you will all have a chance to read. Uh, Letters, so inshallah, in coming classes. So, here we are learning how we join mutaharik and sakin letters and mutaharik and mushaddad letters, and uh, we drop all the blank letters while joining, uh, coming between them while joining. Otherwise, we read them uh, blank letters uh, according to the rules which we have learned, madda and so the second last. That our second letter and last line is this one. And here we are joining these red letters together. So here, Lam, Mutaharik Lam, we are joining with Mushadatta. So it's, it becomes Olut. 
so here two mushaddad letters together coming so we uh, read each mushaddad letter and give proper time to it so we are joining this red lamb with red taw mushaddad taw so so this last one it will be really um, easy for you if you revise with them because we are learning about Muthari, uh, how you add Mutharik and Sakin letters. So if, uh, if we learn about Sakin or Sakun sign le lesson 12, and we are also learning about how we join Mutharik and Mushaddad letters. So we learn about the Shdeed or Shadda in lesson number 13, if you revise the, that lessons as well. And then keep on practicing how we combine these letters and what are the rules and practice. Be mindful about the timing as well you are giving to each stroke. So this last box of 18.2 is last letter of this is. So we are going to here, we are going to join this lamb, red lamb with Kasra to Sod with Shadda or Mushaddad Sod. So it will become first we are joining so here, here we have two practices so first we we can practice both first this sinha we are going to join with sakindal so which we practice in 18.1 so lahat then lahad swarha lahad so this ha we join with dal so we drop these two alis otherwise if we just read this laha then it will be laha because fatta followed by alif matta but we we are going to join now this mutaharika with this dal sakin dal and then again this lam red lam with kasra we are going to join with Mushaddad song. So it, it is Lahad Hule Swarha Lahad Hule Swarha. This last ha is thick one, so we give one second, but we produce proper sound of ha from throat. Lahad Hule Swarha Lahad Hule Swarha Okay, so hope uh, you grab uh, how we combine letters. So Again, I'm going to, we read about combining today and in Arabic we called it Vasl. So, Vasl means to connect or to link or combine. There are many Quranic words which either start or end with blank letters. Blank letters are letters without any stroke. These blank letters are dropped while connecting two words but maintained when read alone. So there are two categories of such words. First, blank letters between Mutaharik and Sakin letters. And when we joining these Mutaharik and Sakin letters, we drop these blank words between them. And secondly, blank letters are between Mutaharik and Mushaddad letters. So we dry, when we are reading and joining Mutaharik and Mushaddad letters, then we drop these blank letters. Otherwise, these blank letters Maintained and read when alone. When read alone. Okay. And in X today, we practice exercise 18.1, in which we practice how we join with the Harik and Sakin letters. And uh, for your convenience, their examples are given in how we read it when we read these uh, letters alone in, in blue line and uh, how we read it. Uh, in second way, uh, when we join these Mutaharik and Sakin letters. And at the same way, in the same way, in exercise 18.2, uh, in first line, under first line, in blue, there's examples are given how we read Mutaharik and Mushaddad letters when we join them. So hope you uh, get it. Please uh, listen to the recordings. And um, a couple of students ask, uh, uh, they need the uh, the copy of these lessons so um, these are available on the website so if you log in to the website and then um nqc.org and then we we'll go to the 
Yes, you know, Quran uh, course and then level one. And you can log in through, uh, through the ID and the password is the same for this class. And then you can download these and print them and put them in your folder and make a note over it while you are learning about them. So, um, okay, if they are, these are not uploaded. So hopefully they, they will be uploaded. Um, I haven't checked them. I'll pass you a message, but hopefully they will be uploaded um, by the end of this day. Uh, but uh, please check uh, uh, tonight or uh, early morning and hopefully they will be there. I'll pass the, the message to the IT team. So, Jazakumullah to all uh, who joined the class. Hope you get it. Please don't forget to listen to the recordings of the lessons and uh, also keep on practicing and listening to the previous recordings as well. So we are going to end today's class with the short prayer. Allahumma hamni bil Quran al Azim. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran. So Jazakumullah to all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.